it's so true when he says that there's only happy accidents. And it's because with paint, you can always just fix it or leave it. I love leaving happy accidents in my paintings. When I was a little kid, I used to watch Bob Ross all the time. I believe I did try to attempt a couple Bob Ross paintings with like my little, you know, kid paint set. It never turned out <laughs> the way I wanted to. Where did your mountain live in your world? I think he's going to live over here. My mountain lives right here too. <laughs> my favorite part about watching him work is his voice, <laughs> which isn't even a watching part, but it's like his voice is so calming and reassuring. <laughs> I told you he said caress. Just, just caress it. He made it look so easy, you know? And I think it was, yeah, that idea that I was just like, oh, I could totally do this. His paintings are difficult, but he makes them so accessible, and I think people just really um, are inspired by him. When I started painting, trust me, my paintings looked like shit, or I'd be sorry, probably gonna bleep that out. My, pa my paintings looked really bad, and it was just because I had never done it before, you know, and, and it's, it took years. I think our nervousness or like our anxiety of things sometimes gets the best of us and so I would just say just go for it. I mean, because the more you paint the better you're going to get.